The matter of contention in the Parliament's Committee on Rules, Discipline and Privileges has been whether the committee has jurisdiction to investigate the conduct of a member of Parliament outside the precincts of Parliament. Right, right speaker, some... Zake and his lawyers, who skipped today's committee proceedings, had argued that Article 94 Clause 1 of the Constitution, from which Parliament gets powers to frame rules to regulate its own procedures, and its committees only conscripts the rules of procedure in Parliament and not outside the precincts of Parliament. That I challenge this committee's jurisdiction to investigate matters alleged to have happened outside the principles, the principles of Parliament. As such, I am here only out of respect I have for you, honorable colleagues, and this institution, but necessarily not to defend myself. The lawyers argued that the matters of alleged disparaging remarks or unethical conduct against Deputy Speaker Anita Monk we are committed outside parliament and institutions such as police or courts are empowered enough to handle such a non parliamentary committee. However, committee chairperson Abd Katuntu outruled Zakez lawyers for failing to cite Rule 85 Appendix 7 of the Parliamentary Rules of Procedure which requires MPs at all times to behave in a manner that does not put parliament in disrepute. In the committee's view, enforcement of compliance with the Code of Conduct is a matter that falls squared within the structures of Parliament, inclusive this committee. Under Rule 5 of our Code of Conduct, in Appendix F, it does provide, members shall, at all times, and may I emphasize at all times, conduct themselves in a manner which maintains and strengthens the public trust and confidence in the integrity of Parliament and never undertake any action, and I emphasize this, any action which may bring the House or its members generally into disrepute. Zakes lawyers further cited bias, partiality and lack of independence. They argued that Deputy Speaker Anita Monk, the complainant, being the one instructing the committee to investigate her own matter, raises conflict of interest. What else did the Honorable Zaka and his illegal team want us as a committee to do? Everything possible legally has been done. Everything reasonably to be done has been done. Where are the instances where Honorable Zaka will, will point to an act of bias on behalf of the committee? Meanwhile, the committee has summoned the clerk to parliament to defend himself of accusations by Zaka who claims that his security detail was withdrawn before his case has been heard. Uganda Communications Commission also needs to prove whether the Twitter account on which the alleged demeaning messages were posted belongs to Zake. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.